Hi, I'm Wayne Scrabble with Lone Wolf Hot Rods. When lashing the valves on a solid lifter cam, spinning the crankshaft around the firing order can get old in a hurry. The easiest way to accomplish this is with a bump switch to, for your starter. You can get clip-on examples from your local auto parts or tool supply house, but most racers don't bother with that. Instead, the way we're in one or even two or three different permanent switches. This way they don't have to mess with alligator clips on a hot engine. For my purposes, I like to have the switch in a spot where I can access it from either side of the car. In this example, I've simply used an existing hole in the rad support. It's in a convenient location for me to reach on either side of the engine. When, when picking a spot, make sure it's located in a spot where you can't accidentally lean on it when you're working on the car, as if it was on the top here. In something like a pro stock car, you'll often find one switch on, on each side of the engine, usually on the firewall, say the passenger side and the driver's side. And in, some, in a lot of cases, you'll find one switch underneath the car near the clutch inspection hole in the bell housing. The reason is that this allows the crew member to spin the engine over when adjusting the clutch. The switch I use is a momentary on job. I bought it from Jerry Bickle Race Cars, but, but Cole Harrison email offers several different types too. I prefer them with the rubber caps like this one. These switches have two terminals. They're dirt simple to wire. On my car, I power one side of the switch off of this factory hot wire lug right here alongside the battery. The other terminal of the switch is wired to the starter. For my GM application, the wire runs to the S terminal. This is where a typical vintage GM purple wire attaches. Start. A very simple wiring diagram is shown here on the screen. With a mini starter such as this Tilton job, a spade terminal is used for the purple wire. With some different ignition systems out there, the car might start when you bump the starter, even with the ignition switch off. For safety's sake, remove the coil wire. It definitely won't start. As you can see, wiring a permanent starter bump switch is simple. It doesn't cost a lot of money, and it'll save you all sorts of time and headaches. And stay tuned to Lone Wolf Hot Rods for more high-performance tech. And please subscribe. That's what keeps us going.